All right, hello my dear students. So in the part one of our tutorial for the answer key, we mentioned the answers for this what I know portion, the what is it, and this one, let's try this, the quick check, and the answer also here, the what's more. So in this next part, for the second part of our tutorial for the answer key, let's have the answers for the what I have learned part. So the directions, read the paragraph carefully and identify the correct words that fit in the given sentences inside the box. Write your answer on a separate sheet. So for number one, Blank is a process that involves observation, data gathering, experimentation, and analysis. So, can you recall? It's a process. So, among the words here, the answer is scientific method. Scientific method is a process that involves observation, data gathering, experimentation, and analysis. Again, the answer is scientific method. So this is the answer for number one. Next, number two, this method is composed of uh, blank steps. So there are six steps. So the answer for number two is this one. Next, number three, by making a detailed blank of the world around you, through your senses, you can be able to formulate, ah, okay, it has something to do with senses. The, the, the clue word is senses. So, the answer is observation. So, this would be number three. Number three answer. Alright. To formulate a blank. So, that the answer would be So, what can you be, formulate when you observe? So, you can formulate this one question or problem okay this is the answer for number four and number five this step will lead you to an educated guess called so the other term for educated guess is hypothesis so this hypothesis here is the answer for number five next in order okay let's just finish educated guess called hypothesis where you can have the tentative answer to your question in order for you to prove your educated guess you need to blank by designing and conducting an experiment so you're going to test the hypothesis so the answer is test the hypothesis so this would be the answer for number six just erase here okay let's have first the erase So let's go back. So we're now in number seven. In the experiment, you need to identify the variables present. And these are the, so what are the variables that are present in the experiment? So we have dependent and independent variable. So this would be number seven. And number eight or this could be number seven and this would be number eight so vice versa so this can be interchanged here the data from the experiment will be collected to so what will happen if in this uh, part so number nine answer would be analyze the result okay so we need to collect the data for us to analyze the results. So, this is number 9. Okay. 
Okay. And the summarized results from the experiment will determine whether the hypothesis is accepted or rejected. And this is where you, num number 10, the answer is draw conclusion. So this is the answer for number 10. Okay, so I hope you do understand. Alright, so this time you are going to design your own scientific investigation. So you are going to use the steps below. Okay, so you are going to write your answers in a piece of paper, of course, just like the other questions uh, before. So example, you turn the light switch on and the bulb does not light inside your room. Use scientific method in your investigation. So describe each step that you will do to solve the problem. So again, the directions design a simple scientific investigation on a specific problem in your area or at home. Write it on your science notebook. So for example, this is the example, you turn the light switch on and the bulb does not light inside your room so use scientific method in your investigation describe each step that you will do to solve the problem so using this example our observation would be the light in my room does not switch on okay the question what happened to the light in my room the hypothesis if what could be the hypothesis use if then statement okay your hypothesis might be if I change the bulb of the light in my room then it will switch on so then you are going to perform the experiment. So identify the dependent and independent variable. So the dependent would be the switching on of the light in your room. The independent variable would be the bulb or the different bulb that you are going to use in your room to switch it on the light. Then perform the experiment and gather the data. So you are going to analyze it in here. Then, for your conclusion, you may um, state or reject or uh, support the hypothesis. Okay, so for example, your conclusion would be the light in my room will switch on if I change the bulb in it. Okay, or you may use different or different type of bulb. So, firefly, what else? So, different type of bulb. You may do the experiment on your own at home. And, let's now proceed to the assessment part. So, number one, what skill is used by scientists when he or she listens to the sounds that are produced by the whales? So, the answer is letter, letter D, making observations. Because it has something to do with the senses, okay? What is the correct order of the steps in scientific method? It's letter B. Number three, which of the five is written correctly? The answer is letter C. Okay. Now let's proceed. Let me first erase this part. You may just play back the video. So we are now in number four. For number four, the answer is letter letter C, amount of salt in water. Number five, the answer is letter D. Okay, now let's proceed to number six. Number six. Okay. The answer for number 6 is letter D. Number 7 is letter D. Number 8 is letter C. Number 9 is letter A. Okay, let 
me first erase this to avoid confusions. We are now in number 10. Number 10 is letter C. Number 11 is also letter C. Number 12 is letter B. Now, let's proceed to number 13, 14, 15. Okay. Number 13, the answer is letter A. Number 14, it's letter D. Number 15 is letter B. Okay. So, again, you may just play back the video. Alright, so let's proceed now to the next part and this is additional activities. Yes, you have made it. Consider yourself a scientist. Below are the steps of scientific methods. So you are going to match. So for number one, okay, identify a problem based on your observation. Identify a problem based on your observation. So that is, the answer is, ask a question. Summarize the results of the experiments, either accepts or rejects the hypothesis. Of course, so that has something to do with drawing conclusions. Getting information with the use of our senses. So senses, it has something to do with observation. The data from the experiment will be collected and analyzed. So, the answer is, analyze the results. Next, educated guess is the other term for hypothesis. It's a step that is used to test the hypothesis. So, that is, conducting experiment. Okay? So, I hope you learned something. I hope um, you find it helpful. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. Wait.